case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a groundbreaking 1980 ruling in the Louisiana Supreme Court, a gripping case surrounding an escalator accident left both property owners and the elevator company grappling with questions of liability lawsuits. Jerry Hunt, having witnessed the injury of his minor son in this accident, filed a lawsuit against City Stores and Otis Elevator Company. The case hinged on an escalator at City Stores, whose dimensions failed to meet the maximum limits specified by the National Safety Code. Known for trapping tennis shoes of young riders, the precarious gap in the escalator design had already been flagged in previous incidents. Yet City Stores failed to issue a public warning about the hazard, and Otis, the elevator manufacturer, did not acknowledge the risk in their customer communications. In the initial round of legal proceedings, the court made a pointed judgment. City Stores was ordered to pay $5,184 in damages to Jerry Hunt. On the other hand, claims against Otis Elevator Company were dismissed. The ruling left City Stores and their insurer, Travelers, dwelling on the responsibility of Otis in manufacturing the ill-designed escalator and pushed them to appeal the decision. The high-stakes appeal led to an outcome that underscored the shared responsibility of both City Stores and Otis in failing to alert the public of the known hazard. Consequently, both parties were ruled liable. Otis and its insurer were now bound to reimburse City Stores and Travelers for half of the awarded damages to the plaintiff. The court upheld the original ruling against City Stores, but introduced an amendment resulting in Otis and their insurer, Commercial Union, being liable for half of the payout to the plaintiff. The landmark ruling continues to inform discussions on strict liability in product design and customer safety warnings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.